Peter Brock will never get the credit. He's not a movie star, but he was an incredible talent and a gifted person with Shelby America. This is the Daytona Coupe, a huge improvement over the Shelby AC Cobra. Look at the way this thing looks, much more aerodynamic. This car, driven by Ken Miles, Mr. Remington, Al Dowd, Peter Brock, Bob Bondurant, Dan Gurney, and of course Carroll Shelby. In 1965 it wins the FIA Championship. The Elite. Now it's over. Shelby's tied up with Ford. Ford says you have nothing else to do with that. You're with the GT40. It wins. It's the biggest car in the world. Shelby says, I'm proud of you guys, but don't bring him back. I'm not going to pay the freight. It almost gets dumped into the Atlantic Ocean, all six of them. They do come back to the L.A. airport where Shelby American is. Shelby lets them go for next to nothing. Today, these cars, $2 million. Easy. All six of them are still surviving. 